after year. That's a calling that's never ending. Hello everybody and welcome back to how to start your first farm tutorial. Today, if you think back to last episode, we harvested our first field. We did this field just here. I think this is wheat. I so. This is straw. You can either choose to have your, in the menu of the harvester, you can either turn off or on um, swathing mode. If it's a crop that allows you to bale, which is grass, straw, and hay, or silage, um, the main culprits to uh, the main crops will allow you to hard uh, to bale would be wheat, barley, oats, and a couple more that I'm drawing a blank on right now. But today we are learning how to bale, and there's three main types of balers. There's the small square baler, which is this one here, which these ones you can pick up the bales by hand and move around, and you can, or you can have a trailer attached here that automatically pick that, picks up the bales as they're dropped. So that's, you can use most, nearly all tractors in the game can pull this, it, it doesn't take much horsepower, I think it requires 50 horsepower to use. Um, then if you come around here, there's, uh, next we'll go to the round baler, which is here. Same process, but it's a round baler, and you have to, the, uh, the crop goes in here, turns into a bale in here, and then the back opens up and the bale drops out. Now you do have to stop every time the baler wants to unload a bale, as otherwise it won't pick up anymore and you'll just miss bits in the field. But you can, with this baler, I believe, you can also, oh no, you can't change the size of the bale, but you can, however, use turn off or on automatic drop. Now, if you move over to this baler, which is the quadrant baler, or square baler, whichever term you wish to use. This is purposely called the quadrant baler. Now this makes kind of bales the same process as this, and they just keep piling out the back, it just keeps filling up. This does the same, just with much larger bales. I think the, this baler can do bales up to 240 litres in size, which I believe that might be I think that converts to about 8,000 litres of whatever crop is going into the baler to make one bale. But if you come here, you can change the size. So if you press RB and right stick, you can see the, the um, bale size is changing from 180, 220, and 240. Well, that's the basics on the three main sources of balers. Now, none of these balers wrap bales. You'd need to get a separate wrapper to wrap grass bales into silage, or you can get, which I will cover in another video, you can get a round baler that has a wrapper on the back of it that automatically wraps grass bales. Oh, let's get started. I'll show you how it works. You start the tractor up, press LB and A to unfold the baler, as you can see it unfolds there. Then you can lower the pickup, turn it on. And then what you do is you just put your two front wheels either side of the swath. Start driving over the swath and as you can see in the bottom right hand corner the little line is going up for it coming out and here's our first bale. It is just coming out now. Our first couple of bales. load the baler when you're done as well, so you can just unload like that, fold the baler, and that's that. And as I said, these bales you can pick up by hand, so you can pick them up and you can stack them, just like this. Just like that. 
the edge too. Now if we go back over to the round baler next. Processing is exactly the same. Lower the pickup. Turn on the baler. Leave it on automatic. I'll turn off the automatic drop. So you can see that it does only the same process. Start driving. As you can see it's filling up, but it's filling up much slower. It's because the bale is going to be bigger than the small rails. I might not have enough straw to actually be able to show you how the quadrant bale works, but the process is exactly the same. As the small square bale, the process is the same with the big square bale. Oh, we are going to get a bale. Now when you get to 90% you'll hear that alarm going off, that's the alarm telling you that you're getting close to the limit. As you can see we need 4,000, I think it's 5,000 meters. Yep, there we go. And now if you look, if I try and go over any more, it won't pick up any more straw. So what you do then is you then just press left button and Y back opens up and the baler drops out and then if you have press LB and Y again to close the back once the back is closed you will then start to pick up more bales just like that no. that's the round baler let me show you let me try and show you how this big square baler works same process unfold the baler lower the pickup down. This one you don't need to turn on or off automatic drop because it just keeps filling up as you go along. Put it to 180 and we'll see what we can get from there. So. As you can see the bell's being created in there. Rather large. doesn't look like we're going to have enough to create a whole bale. In your mind. Maybe. Don't quite think so though. No, you might actually be able to get a full load, one day, off this field. First bail. Now I can pick this up. If I turn off the baler and I go unload bail. There you go. Drive forward. Rolls off the back. No. These square bales can't pick it up for too heavy. You will need a forklift, a front loader, a tally hander of some description to pick these up, or you can get an auto automatic bail loading trailer in the stop but we will do another video on that next time but that is how you collect your first field of bales if you decide to have straw swath enabled in the harvester when you harvest the field well i hope this helps somebody that's new to the game you know then everyone's got to start somewhere but there will be a complete series and 
look out for in the next episode we will be doing how to prepare your fi your field for the next crop which will be this one which that will be covered in the next episode i will scat hope you all had a very good day and thank you so much for watching if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing it would, it would really help the channel out and i will catch you in the next one see you in the next one